Hey, it's Walt K4OGO. You know, one of the coolest parts of amateur radio is being in a club. And I am truly blessed and honored to be a member of the USS Wisconsin Radio Club here in Norfolk, Virginia. Today is a museum ships on the air event and I get the privilege of operating the HF radio on board USS Wisconsin. Come aboard with me. The Iowa battleship USS Wisconsin, BB-64, was commissioned in April 1944 during World War II. Reaching the Pacific to serve in combat, she served at the Philippines, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and the final bombardments of Japan. After the war, Wisconsin was briefly decommissioned, only to be reactivated for the Korean War, serving until 1958. After three decades in mothballs, she was recommissioned in 1988 and participated in the Persian Gulf War. In 1991, Wisconsin was again decommissioned and is now a museum ship in her home port of Norfolk, Virginia. USS Wisconsin Radio Club uses the ship's original vertical antennas, as well as two club-installed antennas, a Carolina Wyndham off-center fed dipole forward, which slopes from the upper bridge forward towards the forecastle, and is a multi-band antenna with frequency coverage on the HF bands from 80 to 10 meters. The other club-installed antenna is an in-fed half-wave antenna that slopes from the mast section aft and is also a multi-band HF antenna. One of the first striking antenna features most people spot is the forward disc cage antenna on the forward bow of the ship. These antennas were added to all Iowa-class battleships in the 80s and is an HF multiband omnidirectional antenna system vertically polarized with gain similar to a dipole. This antenna is fully operational but not currently in use by the club. Let's go up and take a look at the club's operating setup. The USS Wisconsin Radio Club operates from two compartments on the O3 level of the ship just after the bridge. The aft house spaces the club's World War II radio collection and is fully operational. And the forward compartment houses the club's modern equipment, including two ICOM IC756 Pro 2 100 watt transceivers, one of which I will be operating today. CQ, CQ, November 4, Whiskey, India, Sierra, Battleship USS Wisconsin, Museum Ships on the Air, calling CQ, November 4, Whiskey, India, Sierra. I got a Whiskey one. Whiskey one. Yeah, Whiskey one, Lima, Juliet, Delta. Whiskey One, Lima, Juliet, Delta, you're 5 9 on board USS Wisconsin. Roger, QSL, I will send you an SASD for a QSL. Um, you are 5 9 plus 20 here in New Hampshire, in New Hampshire, on retired U.S. Navy. Go ahead. Hey, thank you for your service, and you are a real 5 9. You're sounding great. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck and have fun. Thank you so much, 73. This is November 4, Whiskey, India, Sierra, QRZ. I have a November zero. November zero, Tango Mike. Wow. Tango Mike. November zero, Tango Mike. Tango Mike Hotel. November zero, Tango Mike Hotel. The midnight hour. Roger, Roger. November zero, Tango Mike Hotel. You're five nine aboard USS Wisconsin. Kansas City, Mike Oscar. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the contact. 73, yeah. November 4, Whiskey, yeah. India, Sierra, QRZ. Kilo, Juliet 4, Romeo, Delta, Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. As you can see, operating on board the ship really creates pileups, but the real magic happens in the aft compartment, where the experienced veterans of amateur radio do the real work. <laughs> Many great U.S. Navy radio men operated from the ship and were one of the most vital parts of her operations while underway. The club honors and keeps the tradition of the U.S. Navy radio men going on board and has been on, in operation since June of 2000 when the ship became a museum ship in the downtown Norfolk Harbor. If you're ever in the Norfolk, Virginia area, make sure you make a visit to the ship as she is open to the public and is a great way to spend a day while visiting. The club operates during the museum ships on the air events as well as several other events. Be sure to listen out as the ship's QSL card is a great addition to the collection.
What a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends.